Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to show you how to Chromecast your Google Slide. We were talking about that uh, Google Slide bulletin board idea, but this works great for any of your slideshows. So the first thing we're going to do is come up here to our practice slide and we're going to get to the publishing to the web section. That can be found under file and publish to the web. So once that is opened, you have a few settings to do. I'm going to start my slideshow as soon as the player loads, and I'm going to re restart the slideshow. But three seconds is kind of quick, and so I'm going to reduce that to five seconds. Now, you have to remember that every item on the slide is going to be on that five-second timer. So if you have animations, every five seconds your animation is going to trigger instead of the slide. So keep that in mind as you do your transitions. I'm going to get rid of these uh, little audio clips that were kind of wrecking my last lesson. There we go. Now, once you have your file published to the web and you have your settings set, and it resets it every time you click that, so you have to go on and switch your settings, you're going to copy and paste this link, Control C, and I'm going to paste it into a new tab. And there's a reason why we're going to do this. I'm pasting it into that new tab, and I'm going to hit Enter. Now, it's going to go grab my slideshow and start it. You see automatically it's starting. Now, I'm going to go up to my little kebab at the very top right, right under the red X, and I'm going to go down to Cast, and I'm going to choose my library bulletin board. And here we go. You can see my slideshow is casting to the projector. Now, the nice thing about this is watch my screen, not the bulletin board, watch my screen. Now I can switch and go back and work on other things. And you can see and hear <laughs> my slideshow continues to play. And when it gets to that last slide after all of those ac actions are done, it will start itself back over and keep looping. So there's a great use for this in things like we're having open house and we're having parents come in and we want them to, to watch this. Or you can have a bulletin board out in the hallway that's on a constant loop and you can just po post announcements on one slide at a time and just have it constantly playing through. Meanwhile, I can work on my computer and do anything I need. And that's the beauty of it. Now, if you have an interactive touch screen display or a smart board, you can do the interactive bulletin board, which is fantastic. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to stop casting. I'm going to stop casting to the library. You see it turns off. And this time I'm going to go up to my bulletin board and I'm going to cast that one onto my bulletin board. Now this one's not interactive, so I really can't show you. But this, if it were interactive, I could come up to this bulletin board and I could click these links and they would actually work. And so you could have this up for the kids to come up and, and play. You can have audio files for them to hit play. You could play games and it would all be interactive on one slide. So that's the beauty of casting your bulletin board. All right, that's about it. So I thank you for joining me and I hope this really helps. This is a great tool to, to put in your toolbox for sure. All right, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.